Ah, layer styles. Let's get stylish with layer styles. If you've used Photoshop, then you know about layer styles already. Now, they don't have all of the bells and whistles you might want for making things look pretty cool, but they have enough of them. First thing to do, we're going to use a text layer, but you can apply these layer styles to really anything. So I'm just going to type in um, my Twitter handle. So I'm going to leave that up for a little bit of shameless self-promotion there. Scale it up so it kind of is big. So, hey, if you want to tweet at me, at E.C. Abrams, check it out. Do it. Tweet, tweet me. I tweet about whatever I'm doing that day. It's pretty boring, actually. Maybe don't do it. But anyway, so we're going to use this text. And you can use any layer. It doesn't have to be a text layer. It can be anything. So don't feel this only applies to text. All right. And you add layer styles by going layer. Oh, right here. It says layer styles. That's pretty obvious. I don't know why I even bothered explaining. You know where it is. It's right there. Okay. And then look at your options. Drop shadow, inner shadow, outer glow, inner glow, bevel and emboss. I don't know what that word is or how to pronounce it. Color overlay, gradient overlay, and <laughs> stroke. Uh, okay. So let's do something easy here, right? Let's start off with a gradient overlay. Okay. Now, one of the problems you'll find right off the get-go, I just applied a thing to the layer. Where are my options, right? Is this it? Is this as good as it gets? Well, you have to go into the layer, all right? And inside there, you'll see layer styles. Open that up. Blending options comes right away. And this is some interesting things that you can use to deal with fills and things like that. And especially operate its global lighting. And global lighting is important because it's using the same lighting settings for all of the text effects you use. So if you're simulating there's a light up here, then that's how that goes. So let's let's use it. Let's use that. So uh, we've got this here. We're going to go ahead and leave that as is. We're going to edit the gradient. If you saw my gradient tutorial before, subtle plug for that, then you'll know uh, what you're doing here. So let's, you know, give ourselves a little, little bit of a gradient. Okay, that's all right. That's fine as it is. So at EC Abrams, now we have a gradient on it. Let's add some more things because this is still, we're not there yet. Let's, let's just do some crazy stuff here. Let's add, let's add ourselves a bevel. Nothing says good times like a bevel. All right. So, doop, doop, do. We've got bevel and emboss, and here it comes in over top of the gradient. So, bevel and emboss will always be over top of your gradients. That's just this is how it is, you know? It is what it is. So, let's go on here. Now, here are all the styles. You can have an inner bevel, you have an outer bevel, whatever. Play around, but, you know, just have a look at what I'm doing, and let's see what we can do. Da -pa -pa, make this not too big. Something like a three, maybe something like that. Yes, please use the global light. And that's all pretty good. Okay, let's add something else. Layer, layer styles, add a drop shadow. I mean, if we have a beveled thing, we might as well have some drop shadow. Let's put in all the cliched uh, layer styles, all right? Let's just adjust these things up, you know, give it a bit more distance, kind of push it off a little bit, size. Now, you're going to need to experiment around, I think, some of the terminology changes, but in general, size is going to be how big the shadow is, distance is how far away the, from the original it is, opacity, obviously, how dark or whatever. Um, but, uh, you know, you get, you get a lot of stuff. You get a lot of bang for your buck with these things. And you can also animate them. But here's a caveat or a warning for when you animate these things. They do not have... Uh, decimal points in all cases um, so they will animate like they're clicking through things so it's like 10 then 11 and 12 and it kind of gives you a, a bad look sometimes when you animate them so don't be in a rush to animate these things out and uh, you know so let's see we've applied some layer styles and what if we decide you know you know I don't like the lighting there oh whoa oh snap I'm just gonna move that around you know, start shifting the lighting like that. And as long as everything is also using global light, click that on. Then, uh, as you can see, all of the effects that are reliant on lighting are changing as well. So, lights over here, change that around. Oh, now the lights over here. So, 
That's in a nutshell how to use layer styles. And like I said, you can apply them to anything. You can create so many different looks, as you saw in the in the intro to this, that it's just it's just great. And one of the better things about this is, you know, if I just change this to be uh, EvanAbrams.com, an awesome website you should go to to see more of my works, I guess, or you know whatever, then uh, you can just edit the layer. The layer styles stay the same, everybody's happy, you know? So that's about it for layer styles. Uh, I encourage you to experiment and familiarize yourselves. See just how far you can push layer styles to get the most out of them. And I'd highly recommend that you invest time in there because the more time you take playing with something, the easier it's going to be when it comes down to crunch time to actually doing it. So these are a great way to add some interest to titles. Uh, I mean, if you're feeling they're boring, then uh, just do it up. If you want to learn about gradients or textures or something like that, I have other tutorials that I put out at the same time as this one as part of a Make Things Look Good series. Uh, my name is Evan Abrams. Uh, thank you for watching. Follow me on Twitter at this place. Check out evanabrams.com. Subscribe to this channel if you want to learn more things from me and hear the terrible bassy sound of my voice resonating in the back of your brain uh, but you know hopefully everything works out for you if you have any questions with layer styles hit me up in the comments or get at me on twitter and i will do my best to uh to answer them i mean i don't, I don't have all the answers but i have most of the answers so anyway i'm evan abrams thanks for watching and i'll see you around the internet